All right guys, just a quick video today. Um, I just wanted to kind of address this issue. I believe it's got the common 5.7 and 6.4 Hemi problem where the lifter flat spots due to starvation of oil and it flat spots the cam. This is a 2019, it was built in June of 19. Uh, 6.4 Hemi Ram 2500. And as you can see here, it only has 24,000 miles on it. It got towed in earlier today for a no start. I diagnosed the starter was bad. Uh, even though this truck is under warranty, the customer just had us do the starter because you know how it is at the dealer. They typically uh, take a little bit of time to get in, diagnose, get parts, fix it. And of course with COVID and everything going on, it's probably even more time strenuous. So they just said, go ahead and do it. Well, I put the starter in and it starts now but have a listen at how much it struggles to crank over and listen to the sound of the you know the engine when it runs did not sound like a healthy crank there a healthy start i don't know if you can hear this but something does not sound well with this engine I don't know if this thing was built on a Friday or what, but there's no reason why at 24,000 miles, the starter should have gone out and this knocking, ticking noise going on. I, it sounds to me like it may be that problem. If you're not familiar with the issue uh, on the five sevens and the six fours because of the displacement on demand or the cylinder shut off, or whatever you want to call it, um, the lifters have very small holes in them for oiling. And if you're not doing frequent enough oil changes, or if you're not using the proper weight oil, or, you know, sometimes you can do everything perfect and they still act up. And what happens is the little metal roller on the lifter will seize and therefore it doesn't roll anymore and it just slowly eats away at your cam and it flat spots uh, your camshaft lobes, which I'll post a few videos down below. I know Uncle Tony's Garage and a couple other people have good videos showing exactly this problem. But if you have, a 19 or newer Ram, this is still an ongoing problem, even in the fifth gen trucks. I just wanted to let you guys know that that is still something to look out for. This Again, this is a 2019 2500 with the 6.4. I have a 19 with mm, 18,000 miles on it with the 5.7. Luckily, no issues with the engine so far. So I just wanted to report this, you know, be transparent about it. Uh, definitely keep an eye on this. And now it keeps dying. It could it could be a rod knock or some sort of bearing knock as well. It's getting bad. It's to the point now where the truck is dying and not wanting to start unless you're giving it throttle. It's bad, guys. Definitely at this point, it's going to be going to the dealer. It sounds like a diesel. Listen to it. That's awful. Let's see how much oil we got in this thing. Well, <laughs> it's low. So there's our first problem. And if I'm being honest with you, this oil looks awful too. It's pretty thick and brown looking. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that uh, this oil change should have been done a long, long time ago. And the fact that the oil is so thick and dirty looking and such low level. I mean, it's supposed to be way up here in the safe mark and it's way the heck down here. So, I mean, that's probably why the engine went. Gotta maintain your stuff and check your oil, guys. Now granted, why is it this low on oil? I don't know. Could have been tinkering, someone could have set them up for failure. It could be burning oil, who knows. Um, I didn't see any wetness down by the drain plug, so it doesn't seem like anyone set them up for sabotage or nothing. I don't know how this exactly happened but it is definitely low on oil and uh not good oil quality i just dipped the stick one more time and it's way down here it's barely even on the stick and if you can it's kind of hard to see on camera but this oil is like 
uh, like a chocolatey brown color. It's pretty dirty and it's, it's pretty thick. You gotta imagine, I'll show a picture right now of the lifters in these trucks, how small that little oiling hole is. Um, and, that, and again, that's on the 5.7 and the 6.4 Hemis. If, if you're not using the right weight oil, manufacturer specified oil, and you're not changing it regularly enough, uh, those holes are gonna plug up and cause problems. In this case, it could be rod bearings. It could be major, major, major failure, not even just, you know, the cam and the, and the lifters. At this point, I think we have some probably serious rod bearing and crank damage uh, possibly. So um, definitely, definitely keep up on your maintenance. There's no sticker in the window on this thing. I have no clue uh, when the last service was done, if it had a service. Uh, and when it's running, there's no smoke coming out the exhaust. So I don't know where the heck all this oil went. I don't know if they just haven't changed it since the thing was new and there's 24,000 miles on it now. Um, I, I just don't know, but um, let this be a lesson to definitely, you know, use the proper recommended weight and, and you know, approved oils for your vehicle. It's one of the very most important things you can do on your vehicle is check the oil and change the oil. Well, the damage is already done anyways, but it's going to sit here until we get approval to bring this thing to the dealer. I'm sure this engine is roached at this point. I don't know. You, you'd think that the engine would have had problems before the starter. The customer didn't say anything about any engine problems. They just said it wouldn't start. So I don't know how everything transpired the way that it did, but here we have it. 24,000 miles, 2019 Ram 2500 with the 6.4 Hemi. As far as I know, engine is shot and the starter failed. So I'll keep you guys updated in the video description here as I find out more on this once it goes to the dealer. Uh, like I said, I'm sure the engine's junk, but just <laughs> some insight. If you're thinking about a 6.4, um, you know, definitely, definitely get an extended warranty or something like that. Same with the 5.7. I know that it's problematic on both of them. Knock on wood, I haven't had that problem. I know plenty of people that have Hemis, they haven't had any any of these problems, but you do get one from time to time. And unfortunately, this is one of those cases. So uh, if this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. Check me out on Facebook at Tony the Truck Guy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.